hey you guys um long time no see according to my youtube it's been about two months um let me fill you in on what's been going on and by the way i have over a hundred more subscribers than i have whenever i last was on thank you so much and i'm asking you i mean i don't blame you if you don't but please stick with me through this but thank you by the way um 235 now anyways so a couple months ago like three days after i posted that video i um got involved with a guy who wasn't so good right um just wasn't good and he was older than me i mean not like nasty older but older and it just it wasn't good and i got in trouble about a week later we dated for like a week and then i got in trouble and i broke up with him and i was really sad and um, actually, like, depressed, like, legitimately depressed for the week after. I don't know why. I mean, we did see each other constantly. By my sneaking out, I've snuck out that entire week. Awful. Do not do that. Don't. Like, I'm not kidding. Don't do it. Um, so I broke up with him, and I was really upset, and then I didn't talk to him for about a month because he basically cussed me out and told me he hated me and all these awful things and um which if a guy cusses you out dump him like enough said dump him he's not respectful of you you don't need him which I should have learned but I didn't um then a couple weeks after that happened I went to a church retreat called Winterfest um don't know if you were there but I went I'm not telling you a city, though. But anyways, I went to Winterfest, and it's a church retreat for Church of God, which is my denomination. Um, and I really got myself back and right with God, and I was doing so great, and I never felt so on fire since I got saved. And um, then, about a week and a half after I got back from Winterfest, like a week and a half later, I slipped so fast like so fast I just had a weak point and um I went to a bull riding kind of a thing here in the south I went to the bull riding it was really fun but I went with my friend my best friend and I had put it on Facebook that I was going and he saw it and I did miss him I don't know why there is he just, he's a he's a bad guy I don't know why I missed him honestly but I did, and um, I put it on Facebook, and he went, and um, which I, I mean, I was kind of hoping that he would be there, because I'd heard that he went a few weeks ago, but anyways, I went, and he was there, and we kind of talked things out, and we got back together, and we were like, oh, it'll work this time, you know, because the last time I was trying to hide it from my mom, because he isn't the kind of guy my mom would want me to date, um, and so... Then we were talking and we kind of got, like, we got together the day after. And again, with the sneaking out, all this after I went to a church retreat, got myself right, set up, good. I mean, I was, and after the first time I got caught, I was, I wasn't in trouble. I wasn't grounded, nothing. I should have just stopped. Then the second time, which this happened about almost a month ago. It'll be a month ago on the 1st, so on Saturday. But, it's hard to believe, but I was sneaking out every day after school saying that I was going to community service, which I was just hanging out with him, and I got caught. My best friend got caught for dating a guy. No, no, that wasn't it. She got caught for something else. I don't know what she was doing. But anyways, point is her dad found out about me and this guy and um, told my mom that I was sneaking out everything. And also, he found out that six months ago, me trying to have a stupid party life or something, I got drunk six months ago. Back in October? No. It's like, I don't know. I don't know when it was. It was September. No, it was September, yeah. And don't do this, anything that I'm saying, not an example to go by, like, normally I'm joking, I'm dead serious, girls, don't do what I've done, I've done myself in, so, um, on April 1st, I got in huge trouble with my mom, 
she texted me she's like where are you and I was like I'm at the Y you know doing volunteer work and she's like no and I was like okay well you need to take me home I told him to and he did and that's the last time I really saw him except for I've actually ran into him a few places but I just run away like I just turn away because I like a lot more is involved now um but so me and my mom were talking that night and it just I felt awful because she trusted me so much because she's not home every day. Well, she is now because she doesn't trust me, but she she wasn't home every day of the week. That's why it was so easy for me to fall back and, slip and you know, sneak out. Um, but she did, and she trusted me, and I abused it and manipulated her. Um, I was basically being a pathological liar to my mom. And she loves me. And I don't know why I would do that. But even after all the fighting we did on that night, after me telling her, she knows everything that I've done. Everything alcohol-related. Um, not necessarily drug-related, but sort of, I guess. No, I've never done drugs. Nothing like that. But it's a long story. But I don't want to put it on YouTube. Um, you know, anything I've done. I've never done drugs. You guys. But anything I've done. Um, she knows, like, she knows everything about me now, everything, and I'm fine with that because we've actually gotten so much closer, but even after everything, and I just felt awful for disappointing everyone in my family, um, like, I apologize to everyone because it's, it, like, I'm about to cry. It's, like, one of the worst feelings in the world to know that you've disappointed so many people in your life and they thought that you were better. And so even at that night, though, like, she just held me and she was like, Hannah, I love you. And, you know, after you've done something like that to someone, you really realize what a parent's love is because she's, she's, she forgave me. And, you know, I'm having to take small steps and build back my trust right now with her. But, I don't know. I mean, sorry for turning this into a spiritual thing, but it really showed me, you know, how the Bible says that Jesus loves us more than any of us could love each other. If she loved me after that, after me sneaking out, lying to her, everything I did... How can I even comprehend how much Jesus loves me? But, um, so I've been grounded for the last month. No phone, no internet. I can't watch TV. No going anywhere. No dating until my birthday, which is in October. And I am complying with it because I deserve it. I deserve every bit of punishment that is coming upon me. And I'm so sorry that I haven't, my mom is being gracious and letting me make a video right now so that I don't lose all my subscribers. But, yeah, point, lesson, please learn this, okay? Do not lie to your parents. Do not. Like, just don't. It's stupid. You'll get caught. You'll be in trouble. It's not worth it. All the fun times, I did have fun times with them, the, the bad crowd that I was in with. It wasn't worth it. No. Not really. Yeah, it, it wasn't worth it at all. No. No. So, yeah, it just, it's it's not worth it. Don't lie. Don't do the stupid stuff. Don't drink. Don't party. Don't do it. Don't sneak out. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Not worth it. You, you're going to think it is at the time, but I swear it's not. Like, I swear. I know by experience. It's just not. So, this is my trying to let you guys have a little piece of wisdom that I've learned in the past couple of months. I don't know what I'm going to get to make another video. I'm going to see if she'll let me make a little bit more of an informational video or something after this. I don't know. This is a lot of information, but I'm going to, yeah, I don't know when I'll make my next video because I don't know whenever she'll let me have those privileges again, but just stick with me if you will. If you don't, I understand. Um, yeah, and, um, I will talk to you guys later. Don't know when, but later. I love you guys so much. Bye.